Right, hello, welcome back. Um, what I've done so far is washed my hair, I've cleaned my teeth, washed my body, um, I've gone over my face with a cleansing, cleansing facial wipe by Cyan, Cyan, they're from Lidl, cost me about 80p for a pack of 25. This is from, they're really nice, they're refreshing and they leave your skin feeling nice and hydrated. I put my moisturiser on and I use the skin system and it's formulated for Asda. This is what it looks like and I've used the day cream. I've put my primer on and I use the W7 um, Prime Magic. So um, my next step, I'm going to use the Freedom Camouflage Paste and this is in number two. It's quite thick but if you use your finger and warm it up, it's a lot easier to, to use. I'm going to use that to conceal and cover any marks I've got on my chin because it was that time of the month last week so my skin's a bit iffy still um, and I'm going to use this on my eyes unless I can actually find my um, eye primer which I don't think it, it's in my makeup bag. I think I've actually moved it uh, um, just a little bit there and then again on my finger and I'm just going to gently go over my eyes using my finger because I find your finger doesn't tug as much as you could do with a brush just like so um, and what I'm doing is going from what I'd call tramp <laughs> no makeup my hair scrag back it's clean as i said i've just washed it to um vamp i'm at the hospital to have a whole load of bloods taken by the hematologist i'm going to the freeman um my specialist rheumatologist dr griffiths wants them doing um i've been diagnosed recently with lupus um i'll leave a link underneath in the description bar to what lupus actually is so you can have a bit read if you want um but then what else um uh i moved in may last year then again in june last year so in a space of a month and a half i moved twice um from a, a, an apartment into an actual house so we've spent six months without carpet so if i'd have filmed it would have been horrendously echoey and horrible you would have been deafened trust me um it was horrible i am i'm now going to use i can't see that that it's this color here in this is the fire vixen palette by anyway and i'm just going to use that color all over my eyelids to set that concealer that I've put on, eye base concealer I've just put on like so and these brushes I got from eBay and I think they look so pretty there are no name but they're a rose gold so um, th there's a lot of fluffy brushes not a lot of packer brushes but that's fine I've got plenty of those right I'm just going to go to a voiceover from here. I am using the Anywhere palette, Burning Embers. Starting with the orange shade I pointed to. Now using a deeper orange. Now using a brown. Using a fluffier brush to make sure that they are blended all together seamlessly.
now using Red in the Fire Vixen by Emily Ware. That is on the bottom right. I am using a packing brush by Lime Crime to put that colour on with. Now I will be using a makeup wipe to remove any fall down. I'm using a dense packing brush by Lime Crime and that shiny metallic brown colour all over the base. Again, using a makeup wipe to clear up any spillage from the eyeshadows under my eyes. I will be using Miss Beauty Foundation in Palest Ivory all over my face. I am mixing that foundation with Unicorn Essence by Makeup Revolution and it is a highlighter that I just like to give my skin a dewy finish. I'm using a flat top kabuki brush by Lime Crime. I am now spritzing my beauty blender with setting spray and using it to blend in my foundation so there is no streaks or marks on my face. setting powder I am using is by Miss Beauty again and it is ready set go basically all I'm doing is it using it to set my foundation and baking under my eyes. Next I am using a black eyeliner by Makeup Revolution and I am tight lining and water lining both eyes using it. On a cotton wool bud that I've moistened using my own spit, it's my eyes, my spit, my whatever, I don't care. You can say what you like. And I'm using it to blend in my eyeliner. Using the Clover palette by Too Faced and the colour Woof Woof, I'm going over that black eyeliner using. Um, a flat brush, a precision flat brush. In the same palette, I'm going to use the colour 
love is love underneath my eyes just to smoke and blend the black out slightly so it's not so harsh. Using a clean brush and brushing away that powder and going back over my, underneath my eyes with uh, Love is Love. Now using the Freedom Pro Contour and Blush Palette, I'm adding some contour to my cheeks and my forehead underneath my chin on my nose and making sure there's no harsh lines and using the banana powder to ensure that everything under my eyes is blended very well and I have no demarcation lines between one and the other. Now I'm adding highlighter to the corner of my eyes using the same palette. It's a peachy shade. Now adding highlighter to my cheeks. It is a blue eyes by MUA. I felt like something a bit different today. Curing it is well blended on my cheeks and going over with a golden just to add a little bit more sparkle. With a peachy blush, oops, you weren't meant to see that, sorry. Now with the peachy blush that I just showed you, I'm adding blusher to my cheeks and just blending it where I think I need a little bit extra colour. And going over with my powder buffer and adding mascara I think this is a Clinique it's a black one and um, to my lashes I don't wear lashes I don't like folk lashes I have very big eyes I think they look silly on me so I make the most of being able to use lots of mascara now I'm using rich ginger by Avon uh, or I was no I'm actually cleaning my lips off because they've gone scummy now I'm using the Rich Ginger Lip Liner by Avon and I'm filling my lips in. And then I will be going over with a gloss by MUA. Uh, yeah, just making sure my lips are all the same shape because mine are very, very uneven. Oh, sorry, I had an itch there. Yeah, I can't tell you what colour that is. It's um, like a very pretty pink, uh, orangey pinky colour. Again, by it's my um, makeup revolution using setting spray. That's their illuminating one. Just checking my eyebrows, making sure they're in shape. 